In this video, Timer 1 and Timer 2 of the AT Mega 328 controller are programmed as a frequency counter to count the rising edge pulses of a rectangular waveform input at digital pin 5 of the Arduino. The technique used to find the frequency of an input periodic signal using the Arduino is as follows. We apply a rectangular waveform to digital pin D5 and we program timer 1 so that it can detect and count the rising edge pulses of the input waveform. Timer 2 is also programmed to provide the time period within which the counting is done. As an example, let's say we apply a 2 kHz rectangular waveform and we program timer 2 to have a counting period of 1 millisecond. So timer 1 will count within this period 1, 2, 2 counts. Now if we extend the counting period to 1000 millisecond then timer 1 will count 2000 counts which is the frequency of the input signal. The signal is input to digital pin D5 which is programmed to be the timer 1 external clock input. The frequency of the signal is also displayed on this OLED screen. Timer 1 and Timer 2 are programmed to display the frequency of the input signal on this OLED screen which is interfaced to the Arduino using I2C communication. This is the flowchart for the frequency counter algorithm. We set the count period to 1000 millisecond. This is the period where we want to count the number of rising edge pulses of the input waveform. Timer 1 overflow interrupt is enabled and the counting is based on the external clock through pin D5. So whenever there's a rising edge pulse, we increment the overflow counter and this continues whenever we get a rising edge pulse. Compare match interrupt of timer 2 is enabled and it is set to 1 millisecond. So every 1 millisecond the compare match interrupt occurs. If it occurs, then we save a copy of the overflow count and we check whether the 1000 millisecond uh, count period has been covered. If no, then we go back and repeat the process. Now, if we have covered the 1000 millisecond, then we calculate the total count and then come back and here the count is done and we display the total count which represents the frequency in Hertz. A quick look at the C++ code used in this project. Within the loop function, we call this uh, start count function and we set the count period to 1000 millisecond. Within the function start count, we need to program timer 1 for overflow interrupt due to rising edge on uh, pin D5 and we need to program timer 2 for compare match interrupt every 1 millisecond. We start by resetting timers 1 and 2 and then we enable the overflow interrupt of timer 1 and then we set timer 2 to CTC mode. CTC stands for clear timer on compare. Next we store in the output compare register of timer 2 the value of 124 so that timer 2 will start counting 0, 1 up to 124 so giving us a total of 125 counts. Next we enable the compare match interrupt of timer 2 and then we set the internal counters of timer 1 and 2 to 0. We set the prescaler of timer 2 to 128 so now with a 16 megahertz clock frequency divided by 128 divided by 125 gives us a frequency of 1000 hertz so the time would be 1 millisecond so every 1 millisecond timer 2 will interrupt next we program timer 1 so that it gets external clock source on pin D5 of the Arduino and then we start the system interrupts when overflow interrupt occurs, the program jumps to this ISR and the overflow count of timer 1 is updated. When timer 2 interrupt occurs, the program jumps to this ISR. Inside the ISR, we first save a copy of the 
timer one overflow counts and then we check whether we have covered the whole 1000 millisecond period if no we go back and continue with the counting otherwise we continue to calculate the total counts within that 1000 millisecond period to calculate the total counts we take the total overflow counts and multiply it by this value keep in mind that each overflow count represents a value of 65,536 so this result is then added to whatever we have value left inside the uh, internal counter of timer 1 finally inside the loop function we display the total counts on the OLED screen and the total counts here represents the frequency of the input to rectangular waveform and now for a quick demonstration we increase the input to signal frequency and observe the output to frequency on the OLED screen to learn more about Arduino timers and interrupts please watch my previous videos take care